He talked about death, and so I thought I'd ask the question, what kind of dead are you? Because there are several kinds. Actually, there are three. There are three kinds of life. There are three kinds of death. Physical, spiritual, eternal. Physical. Your folks didn't consult you. They just had you. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> and when they had you, you got an eternal soul. Came with the package that's you. And one of these days, you're going to die. Because uh, it's appointed in a man and a woman but once to die, and then comes the judgment. But there are two guys who never did die. Who were they? Enoch, Enoch and Elijah. Elijah. Never had to die. So how do you reconcile that with the verse? Well, they're going to die. They'll be back during the tribulation. They'll be the two prophets. They'll die, lay in the street for a few days, come to life, fire in the eyes, slash, and, and all that. <laughs> so they're going to die. So the verse is still good. Ah, but some people have died more than once. Jesus raised three from the grave. Who were they? Widow's son. Yeah, Jairus, the synagogue official, his daughter, and Lazarus. Good story on Lazarus. Martha sent news, Jesus, Lazarus is sick, come quick. Jesus didn't go. He waited a couple days. By the time he gets there, Martha greets him. Lazarus is dead. He's been buried for four. And she's on his case a little bit. I mean, she is. Jesus, you could have been here. Why didn't you come? You could have saved him. He's my brother. You loved him. You cared about him. Why weren't you here? You could have saved him. What's going on? It's kind of like that. And Jesus said, I'm going to take care of it. Well, I know you're going to take care of it. An eternity will be taken care of. I understand that. But why didn't you come before he died? Why didn't you heal him? He said, Martha, I'm going to take care of it. Where's he buried? By the way, where's Mary? Well, she's grieving. Well, send for Mary. Have her meet us at the place where Lazarus is buried, and, and, and I'm going to take care of it. Hmm? What? You're going to take care of it. They get there, Mary comes, she's sad. She's on him too, only she's really crying. Jesus, if you'd just been here, you would have been all right. Why weren't you? And he identifies with that, and there's your memory verse. If you ever hurting for one, there's a memory verse. It's a two-worder. Anyone can remember it. What is it? Jesus, Jesus wept. No-brainer. <laughs> and he says, okay, roll back the stone. I'm going in there. I'm fixing it. And, and she's, she's King James lady. She read King James in those days. You could tell because she says, Oh, Lordy, don't go in there. By now he stinketh to high heaven, if you'll excuse the expression. And Jesus sticks his head in the cave and he goes, Oh, Martha, you're right on that call. I'm not going in there. He did King James too. He says, Lazarus, come forth. And I didn't know, but three other guys must have been buried in there and beat Lazarus out, because if he came forth, three guys had to... <laughs> Don't groan at me! All right, did those three guys and the one Peter raised and the one Paul raised and the one Elijah raised, did those folks have to die more than once? Yeah, they died twice. So what's up with it's appointing a man and woman who wants to die and then comes the judgment? Well, because there's two kinds of physical death. There's clinical or medical death, and there's a biblical definition. And clinically, you can die more than once. We got some pretty remarkable tools now to revive you. But when the spirit leaves the body, pull the plug, baby. Nobody's home. And that's the biblical definition. Now, spiritually, you were born spiritually dead. You were born in Adam's sin. You were born with a sin nature. Little babies go to heaven. David made it clear, I'll be with my baby in paradise. And Jesus never once condemned a child. But unless there is severe mental handicap, everyone's going to get to an age where they're accountable for their sin. Because we're born spiritually dead. 
And the solution to that is spiritual birth. So when Nicodemus, who thought, when Jesus said, do not marvel that you must be born again, he's thinking, I got to go back into the womb. I got to do this physical thing again. How? But no, he wasn't talking about that. He was saying, you've been born once physically. You were born dead spiritually. You have to have spiritual birth. And how do you do that? You confess with your mouth, Jesus Lord, and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, and you shall be saved. And if you'll turn over the lordship of your life from your control to the Lord Jesus, he'll do three great things for you. He'll, uh, he'll give you a spiritual gift, at least one, maybe more, that you can use in the body. He'll give you the Holy Spirit to guide and direct your life. And he'll change your DNA. And you'll be born spiritually. And the other term needs to be defined. You'll be saved from the consequences of having been born spiritually dead. So do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. Now here's the kicker. All that has to happen before physical death occurs. Because you don't want to get caught physically dead, spiritually dead. When physical death catches you, and it will, you must be born again. And next week, we're going to talk about where to next. But for now, just think about, what kind of dead am I? And what should I do about it?